Hi there. My name is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to find the height of a parallelogram using the Pythagorean theorem. So here we have a parallelogram in which all the sides are of the same length. The opposite sides are parallel, of course. You can refer to this as an equilateral parallelogram, also known as a rhombus. We know that one, each of the sides is of length 13 centimeters, and we know that the width of the parallelogram is 24 centimeters. Is this enough information to find the height? The answer is yes. So it's helpful to think of this shape as being comprised of four right triangles, which will shade in green. So let's draw that over here. So, we are already told that the hypotenuse is 13 centimeters. And the base of this triangle is going to be one half of the width. So that's going to be 12. So once we can find this, which we'll call B, B is going to be one half of the total height. So if we can find the remaining side of this triangle, we've solved our problem. But this is fairly simple. All we need to use is the Pythagorean formula, which states that a squared plus b squared, where a and b represent the lengths of the legs of a right triangle, equals c squared, where c represents the length of the hypotenuse. So we can simply plug in our values. We get 12 squared, which is 144, plus b squared, which we don't know yet capitalized, make it consistent, equals 13 squared, which is 169. Well, we simply subtract 144 from both sides, find that b squared equals 25. That tells us that b is equal to 5 centimeters. It can't be negative 5 centimeters since it doesn't really make sense for the leg of a triangle to have negative length. So, we recall that b is one half of our height. That's five centimeters. This will be five centimeters also. So the total height is going to be 10 centimeters. Voila. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to find the height of a parallelogram using the Pythagorean formula.